right at the archways. And I don't know if I necessarily agree with this. Reinhardt's shield is almost dead. Oh. Is Surefor's gonna get three in a row? Surefor oh. is on a rampage right here on King's Row. Five. This is disgusting. Oh. What is even like? Here from C9. Sure for just a surgeon right now with what he's doing. Somehow he even doesn't get hit by the Earth Shatter. If there's miracles going on in this game right now, it's definitely on the Sure for side. Juno still picks off Adam from it, but C9 coming back in. And Sure for the raid boss has yet to be defeated as he picks up four extra kills. And he doesn't need the stand up boost. He was doing fine without it, but hey, you want to add good things to great things. Why not? Rogue now taking their time. Preparing for the next push, they want to get to Beacon there, they want to get that death bomb up and running. Sure for it with the dead eye, we'll try and buy some time, and will actually blow through and kill Reinforce and Tuxedo with a single kill. He got the double kill, not even satisfied, Lucio speed boost out, takes out AKM and Rogue, find themselves in the warm embrace of their own spawn point, powered by Sure for in that engage. He's going to go back. Pulls up the dead eye. Oh no, the nano boost drops down, immediately gets Rob Wiz, moves to the back line, picks up the double. What a nano boost to make a good situation even better as Sure for true to his name, picks up four kills and even makes it five at the very end. That was absolute beauty. Through Hollywood streets. It was good on Phaser to turn that back around. I mean, they did lose too easy pretty on, but uh, C9 perhaps overdove a bit, overestimated the advantage they had, and Shifu right now laying the poke from above, but Phaser doing a good job of not actually fully dying to that, using all their advantage, but Forsaken now in trouble, is going to go down to three quick shots, and here comes Shifu, stuns out Shadowburn, Shadowburn running for his life, but it's not going to be enough, and this is a 3k from Shifu, just absolutely decimating the Phase side. Res comes out later on, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough. Optimistic Dragon Blade here from Shadowburn as he comes into the combo alone and Discord and pays his life for it. that down, but Envy is going to have a full six on the point here. I don't know if this is going to be enough from uh, C9 as Kai Kai just gets punched in the face. Taimu on a quad kill once more. Man, Taimu's had a great uh, last five minutes or so between this game and the last game. And they're all charged up as deadly. Does take out Kai Kai in the end. Gets a kill on the debit. Oh my goodness, Taimu killed two people with one flashbang! <laughs> right at the end! A double kill flashbang! <laughs>
représentant et Nate dans cet Overwatch Open. Temu pour une ouverture dans la tête. Arrête ça, Temu Arrête ça tout de suite Il en met des dégâts, ça et c'est pas fini C'est pas fini oh, Son Colt Petit bien à la fini Oh La petite droite au passage derrière le duel remporté face au Téliata So a lot of ults is being used out of sync. They're not being used together to really lock down a team either way. Time is able to just take them down with the left clicks. Nox and Wind's all gonna fall. And Tailspin on the Tracer switching over from that Reaper. Provide a little bit of extra skirmish power for the team. So Vic, he's not gonna that battle against Taibu. And he's still continuing. He's still continuing to push out here and set rope even on a longer respawn. And a Taibu as well. He's starting to hit the headlines in the last couple moments, as he probably should. Looking for Unko in the back line. It's a two-shot kill. Oh, Lord, AKM gets a lease on life, at least for a very short moment. The shield not gonna be enough though to keep him vital and fit. Well, we've seen that one already a couple times. And Taimu's looking damn good right now. You know he's feeling it.